What is up guys, Sleepy here, and today we have Poke News Sunday. That is right, it is Sunday, so we will have Poke News today. Um, I am, really quickly, I'm currently moving, that's why the videos have been slow or not existent at all. So, they will resume very soon, as soon as I'm done moving, and as soon as I fix my computer that has broken, and as soon as I fix my headset also that has broken. A lot of things broke, but everything will work out in the end, don't you worry, we will have videos resumed eventually, um, hopefully as soon as possible. But, let's go over the news, shall we? Now, we had, actually, some decent news, I don't know, I guess. Uh, we have this shiny Xerneas event. And I don't know what you're thinking, you're probably like, dude, what about Yveltal? Yeah, Bacon Lugia also is a shiny event. And, what about the third guy? Well, he's not shiny, but he is getting an event. Now, we have all three of these, uh, Kalos Legends that are now getting events. Pretty interesting, if you say so, if I say so, um, what really set, like, what, what confused me at first was the Zygarde, because obviously I think there will be a Z version, I mean, the OT in the game is called X, Y, and Z. I think there will be some kind of third version, they're not releasing Shiny Zygarde, which kind of makes me feel like they're probably gonna release a third version, because, like, why why wouldn't they release Shiny Zygarde if this was the end of 6th gen, you know what I'm saying? But they are releasing Shiny Xerneas and Shiny Eveltal, should be super interesting. I'm not sure if these are specifically for the anime, if these Shiny Legends are going to be in the anime or not. But, um, it is pretty interesting to see them releasing these Shiny Locked Legends. I always thought in-game event Shiny Locks were pretty dumb. So it's cool to finally see them, like, releasing the Shinies, and I'm also glad that it's not a Shiny Zygarde, because that kind of reinforces the idea that there will be a third game in 6th gen. So I would, I would like to hear your opinions on this. If you think this means that Z won't be coming, then you're probably silly, and your opinion's wrong. Just kidding. I, like, no one really knows. But, um... But this is, this is just really interesting that they would go all out like this with these, uh... With these legends. I hope you like this background while my webcam software, like, doesn't work at all with this computer. This computer just got really messed up, so... I'm- I'm working on fixing it completely. We have some news on a Hoopa event. That is right. Hoopa did come out in Japan, um... But it's also now coming to the rest of the world. It will be distributed in game stores in the United Kingdom from October 23rd to November 5th. For in GameStop stores in Germany from October 16th to November 7th. Uh, French and Spanish dates are forthcoming, as well as North American dates. They did confirm that U.S. will be receiving Hoopa later this year, so look forward to that. If you are from the Netherlands, um, it's currently being distributed right now today at uh, the First Look Festival, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, it might be a little too late to go get it. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but uh, I don't know. I thought I thought that was, that was a neat little thing, too. Figured I'd tell you Netherlanders. In terms of Pokin news, we have this Halloween news that I actually addressed in my update video, but I'm going to talk about it, you know, um, they're getting a Halloween update to the arcade game, so these two will now be more supports. We will now get, uh, Miss Magius and Ninetales as supporters. Uh, I think it's running currently, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, the one in Dave and Buster's in New York City should also be getting this update. So, that's pretty pretty cool, if I do say so myself. It is really cool to see them doing seasonal Pokémon stuff like this. And I hope they continue to do this with the Wii U version. Now, this is some Badge Center news. And I usually cover Badge Center news, but it's not always, like, actually useful. Because well, most of my audience is not from Japan, so this is Japanese... Japanese? Japanese only. <clears throat> But I like to cover it because it is Pokemon news and I think it's pretty cool. And if we do ever get the Collection Badge Center in the US and other places in the world, I'll have already covered all the news. So, um... They received several new panels of Pokemon badges to earn. Uh, there's more Pokemon, obviously, as you see, like Greninja. And, um... It's just, it's cool to see them adding more Pokemon stuff. I feel like they're kind of... I don't know. I feel like Pokemon is building up. All this stuff is kind of makes me feel like it's building up to some kind of huge thing. So I'm hoping Z is that huge thing. Maybe not, though. Nobody really knows. Now, for our final piece of news, we have some nice information from PokeChopper.com. We have monthly Pikachu for December, I believe. 
Yes, December. This is for December. This is the monthly Pikachu. It is this like kimono esque Pikachu, and it, I I really like what I really like about this is that it's coming out a whole bunch of Christmas stuff, and I know it's still October. So don't get your your panties in a bunch right here, but. I am obsessed with Christmas, so please don't mind me while I freak out over how awesome all of this stuff is. Look at that! Oh my god. A little Pikachu with a little Santa jacket. That is adorable. Look at Eevee. And these little keychains down here, these little keychains, these are awesome things. These are so cool. And I really look forward to them. Um, cool to see them doing more Hoenn stuff. They have these Pikachu snowmen. They actually did snowmen last year. I got a Chessman snowman. But uh, they're redoing it this year with some odd-looking uh, Irish-type clothing. Not really sure what that is, to be honest. But this really cool poster that I totally want to buy is really cool, and I totally want to buy it. Um, look at that! Look at look at it! It's it's they they all look like amazing, and it's like wintry wonderland. And I'm I really love Christmas, so this poster especially I would definitely buy in an instant. Look at that! Of course, Jirachi should have been the star, not Mew. What the hell? But. This is a super Christmas poster, and I'm excited, and I don't know if this is, like, being released or not, but I, I don't know. I guess it might be. Uh, looks like Poke Shopper Sunny Shore is down here as well, so I don't know if this is originally from Sunny Shore. That's interesting. But anyway, that's all we got from that end. So thank you for watching. This is uh, Poke News with Sleepy Jirachi, your host, Sleepy Jirachi, your host of Poke News. And I will be here every Sunday, even if my computer slash headset slash everything is broken and I am currently moving. I will make sure I get the Poke News up because you know you guys deserve the Poke News. Now we have this wonderful background with uh, Chris, who is our protagonist currently in Alpha Sapphire Supreme Randomizer, which will resume as soon as I get everything sorted out. So don't you guys worry about that. I'm sorry that it's been so long. I mean, it's really only been like two days, but I'm sorry that it's been so long. Maybe three days. Oh my God. Um, I'm sorry that's been so long. I'm just, I, re I am. I really am sorry that it's taking so long. I have, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably see my updates. Uh, I am currently working on setting up a sweet studio in this junk basement, in this terrible basement. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up. It's gonna look super nice. It's gonna be sweet. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, yesterday should have been a top five. I do them every Sunday, but there was not a top five, so I'm going to put it up tomorrow. I'm going to record it using XSplit because none of my other programs currently work. I can't use Photoshop. I can't use, uh, Vegas, but I did go, uh, to a friend's house and put Photoshop on his computer, and I actually brought the files with me so I could edit, and all last night I was working on editing the files, so I'm going to record that today. That'll be up tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy that as well. It will be a very nice october -y themed top five. Um, you know, like spooky, scary skeletons, we out here kind of stuff. So, um, thank you again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this Pokey News, and I love you indefinitely for the rest of my life.